What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. So we have a brother right here who's an artist. I'm out here today on the streets just talking to the, the people that are here. Introduce yourself. What's your name? My name is Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy, how old are you? I'm 29 years old. You're 29? Yeah. Man, everybody's 29 today that I'm talking to. That's crazy. Yeah. Everybody's 29. So, you from Namibia? Yes. What part? Windhoek. 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 You're right here from the city area? Of course. But I was born and raised in Swako, but I came here three or four years ago. Three or four years ago? Yes. Okay. Now, the uh, born and raised here. Okay, now you're into art. Show people the artwork that you're... What you're doing is... Um, Makalani. It's called Makalani. Yes. And he's... What is this right here? What is it? It's, a, it's a not from the palm trees, but you only get the palm trees in the north of so, Namibia. It's the nut from the palm trees. And they, they he carves these pictures on them. With different um, kind of animals, lion, elephant. I can also engrave your name on, like an example, Namibia. That's where it comes from, Namibia. Yeah. So now, let me ask you this right, because you're 29 years old. Of course. This is your business that you yeah, do. Yeah. Okay, how long you been doing it? For like eight years. Eight years. I started when I was 21. Yeah. Okay, so speak up just a little bit because that mic is sitting right over here. No problem. Okay, so you started when? To, uh, well, see, I, I was 21 by the time now I'm 29, so it's eight years. Eight years you've been doing this. Yes. How is that for you? It's been well, in business, it's, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good. Like our tourism of COVID 19 now, it's really quiet. COVID 19 slowed yeah, everything it's down. Everything. Yeah. So now, do you live by yourself? Take yeah, I live care by, yourself? yeah, with my little brother. You live with your little brother? Of course. Was that the brother that was selling the fish? Of course. Okay, all right. So y'all sell fish. Yeah. You I'm do the artwork. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm surprised that here in Namibia, y'all have tattoos. <laughs> so let, me see your, let, let people see your tattoos on your arms. So yeah. he's got tattoos on his arms. And what is that right there on your chest? This is a Roman clock. A what? A Roman clock. A Roman clock. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So what you have on your other arm right here? It's my, it's my mom's name. That's your mother's name? Yeah. What does it say? Sylvia. Sylvia? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I, that was surprising. I mean, you're one of the first that I've seen yeah. with a tattoo. Mm -hmm. So they have places around here they do tattoos? Yeah, a lot of places. Yeah? Like these two down the... Like usually I live in Katutura. So okay, I was over there yesterday in Katutura. Uh, which side of Katutura were you? Uh, where they sell the beef and everything, where they oh, grill the beef, oh, the little market single over there. Quarter. Single quarter. Single quarter? Yeah. yeah, that's what they tell me, yeah. Yeah. So now, okay, so they got tattoo artists around here yeah. and all that. So people are into tattoos. Yeah, like the, like the lady with the breast now, she's, she also wants a tattoo. She wants a tattoo? Yeah, by Tuesday. <laughs> then I tell them, no, it's expensive. Then she said, no, I have the money to go make one because I really want one. How much did this tattoo cost on your chest? It was 750 both, all, of, all of them were like 1,050, which I made. For all together, 1,050. Yeah. Okay, so that might be like that, uh, eight, 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 seven hundred. That's yeah. like almost uh, 700 US dollars. No, that's actually like 70, 80, 80 dollars. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, you said a thousand. Yeah. I'm thinking 10,000. <laughs> 70 or 80 baht, uh, yeah. dollars, okay, yeah. American dollars, yeah. Now, you told me that you've been you've been to Tanzania. Yeah. I've for been real? To, for, the, for real. When, when, when were you in Tanzania? 2016. What took you out to Tanzania? What, what took you out there? This, this took me out there because I met some people around in Namibia. They paid my ticket and everything. So I took, I went there, then I came in Dar es Salaam. From there, I took Orange to Arusha. Then we met at the Koita, the Koita Hotel in Tanzania. Somebody paid your ticket to go to Tanzania yes. so that you can go ahead and do what with this? Yes. So you write names because it was like for the hotel. For, it was like every, the hotel had like 73 rooms, 73 rooms, but I went with 80 of them. Then I had to write each room number and everything like that. Oh, so you did this for a hotel? Yeah, it's for the Equita Hotel. They were giving these away for gift? Yes. For each room? Yes. Oh, I see what it is. They were using these as, because this is a keychain. Yeah. Oh, okay. And so you did it, and for each room they had, yeah. and uh, they, they put their keys on this. Of course. Got you, got you. How did you like Tanzania? It was, it was, it was, it was quite an experience. 
I was happy to be there. Sometimes it's good to travel around and see different kind of places. Yeah. And I was really happy. If I have to get the opportunity to go back, I'll go back again. What is, which place did you uh, did you enjoy? Arusha, Dar es Salaam. Which one did you enjoy? Arusha, Arusha. Why Arusha? Because it was like, let me say, everything is near it. It's near each other. You could have taken a walk and things like that. So I enjoyed, I enjoyed Arusha very well. Do you speak Swahili? No, just a little bit like Mambo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mambo. Yeah, hello, yeah. Just hello. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the um, okay. Let me ask you this right here about your own country, Namibia. What's your thoughts on your country? What? How's things going here in your country? It's, while it's going well keeping up with this COVID, but since COVID, it's destroying and people are dying, so... Do you know of any people who's died from COVID? A lot of people, like, mm -hmm. a lot, a lot of people. A yeah. lot of people, like our, our chief, our paramount chief. Uh-huh. Yeah, a lot of people. Wow. The person who named Namibia also, a lot of people died. Okay, all right. Well, can you share with the people Something about Namibia you're proud of. What are you proud of Namibia for? It's my motherland. Okay. It's my motherland. And if this is your motherland, so you love it because it's your motherland. Yeah. Now, what would you share with the people uh, if they were going to come out here to visit? What's that one thing you would tell them they should come and check out? Namibia. Like our country, it's a very beautiful country. A lot of minerals, beautiful places to be all that. It's really, Namibia is a really beautiful country. Now, you, you've been working for yourself as a yeah. business, like you mentioned. Uh, have you ever thought about working for the government or some other business or company? Not really, because since I never, I never worked in my life. So I've always been doing this since the rest of my life. Your whole life you've been, yeah. you've been doing that? Yeah. Oh. So how far did you get in school? I went until grade 12. Grade 12. Yes. Did you graduate? No. You didn't graduate? Yes. I moved to the farm. I moved to the farm since my grandma died. So I took leave, take care with my little brother. You had moved to the farm. Yeah. Your grandmother had died. Yes. So you, what, you, you went out there to help out or something? Yes. Okay. And so now this is the skill that you have is carving these. Uh, and these are from what now, the tree? From the Makalani palm tree. It's called Makalani. Makalani palm tree. Yes. And it, and, it, and it produced these nuts here. Yes. Okay, all right. So, do you think people ought to come visit Namibia to live? Or is it a place to where, you know, foreigners come to live? Is it a place you think was okay? Yeah, of course. Did you think COVID slowed it down? People shouldn't come because people are dying, like you no. said? But like like yesterday, yesterday went very very down. It was like only two hundred in Namibia. Uh -huh. it came from seven hundred downwards. Okay. So it's becoming better again. And I hope our tourism rates come high. You see, they are like the tourists also. So the tourists, yeah. Very few, very few tourists out here. It's almost but like a ghost town out yeah, here. Yeah, but actually, Swakopmund, Swakopmund is full of tourists. Where? Swakopum. Okay, Swakopum. Okay. Well, I thank you, my brother, for at least doing an interview with me and all that right it's there. My pleasure, man. Okay, well, you take care, all right? Okay, cool, man. We're on to the next interview, family. Okay.